I drove up to Montreal this weekend for a conference and it gave me some time to reflect on the pieces of content I'm creating. And I want to take a bit of a different approach. This might not work, but I always wanted to try it a little bit more cinematic, long form, slow burn types of videos. Having a six hour drive from Toronto to Montreal gives you a lot of space, a lot of clarity. And I was thinking about how I got my Notion badge, my Essentials badge. I didn't train for it or anything. I have just been using Notion for such a long time that I've learned things and I've learned things in the process. And so today I want to talk to you about creating a music production system in Notion. And I created something super simple for you. If you are interested in Notion and you want to get started. And the reason I also did this is I've looked online, I lived on YouTube with Notion, and I find that a lot of the content is overly complicated. So I wanted to make it super simple for someone just coming into Notion to figure out what to do, how it could help them, how it can help streamline their business and organize their thoughts and organize, let's say, mixing, mastering, editing, things of that nature. So my computer here with me. So let's just go ahead and dive right into that. So let me show you how this music production suite works. Pretty much we have the client's database, which is the highest level. And then we have projects. And then under that, the subsection of songs. And then we have task database. Over here, we have your music production process and a portfolio. These all connect to projects. But notice how the arrow goes here. They do not connect back to these. These are independent, so your clients do not see that. This over here is so that you can actually share this to your clients and it acts as a client portal. They can see where the project is. And as you update it, the client will see that as well. There's two main reasons I wanted to show you how to set up your own music production suite and music production system in Notion. And the first is that Notion just came out with their new homepage, which is great. I find it extremely helpful and it's just a central hub for everything that's going on in your business. I just try to keep this super simple so you're able to plug and play into your business today. So the first thing I want to go over the homepage. So if we go over to the homepage, after you download the music production suite, we want to get this connected. So you'll see a bunch of stuff here. So the first thing we have the recently visited. So any page that you recently visit pops it here. The second thing is that you want to connect your Google calendar. So I want to go ahead and connect my Google calendar to my music production business. I want to allow access. Okay. So what I want to do, let's go to calendars, take it all and go to the music production calendar that I want to mirror that. And I want to hide this other stuff. Perfect. So over here, we have a bunch of toggles as well. So three days in advance, all day events without participants, events without compensating. So whatever your needs are, you can toggle these on and off. So the second thing is you want to set up a, the database. So right now you can set up clients, tasks, projects, portfolio, and some other stuff as well. So what I'll go ahead and do is set up clients. I will create new list view, go to gallery, put in clients, add a little microphone, go to page content, page cover. Great. And so the next thing you want to do is set up the tasks. So you want to go to show and hide widgets, my tasks, and this is automatically connected to the task list database. It has status, assignee, and do. You need those three things in order to have a task database. And you can also set up things like make sure it's in progress, assignee is me, Let's clear that out. And you can see the tasks are there. What I like to do is go ahead and hide the source. We have our tasks. So the last thing here is we want to click here, hide, learn, hide feature templates. Every single day when you come here, you can see what the upcoming events are. If you have some studio sessions, what are your tasks? What do they do? 
and where are your projects? Let's go ahead and change the default to home. And we're pretty much set up at this point. Very simple, very stripped down. This is the music production suite. Very simple, not complicated. You can just plug and play. And we're going to do an example right now. We have a new artist that has an album or an EP they want to record. And I'm going to use myself an example. I had an EP called Visionary. So we can go ahead, put Visionary in there. And as you can see, this drop down has sub items. So sub items are songs. So you put on Visionary, what is another song? I had Into Stone. Then I also had Nurse. So I want to start setting the parameters of the project. So I can cl click Visionary and I have to type an EP. I have a start date. I don't need to set that right now. And I have a project template. So if I click Project Template, you can see it sets up some tasks for the project. And if you have new tasks here, attaches it to this project. So let's go ahead and put in some tasks on Word, get files. And okay, perfect. So let's start entering the information for the songs. So we have visionary. Let's click song template. You can see the same thing. We have tasks, but the difference is we have track info and inspiration playlists. So you can use this for the studio session. So in studio, you can pull this up. You can start putting in the key to remember the BPM, the featured artist, session musician, engineer, ISRC, pre-save link, release date, general notes, in studio notes. It's extremely helpful. It shows that to your client that you're really organized. And there's also an inspiration playlist. So this inspiration playlist populates. And as you can see, this is just my own, but you can put the artist's inspiration playlist to the song. And that can help the direction of where it's going. And you can start adding some stuff to here as well. You can put, um, complete music production. And you can go in, put that for each one. So we have our projects pretty much set up. So we can go over to status. Okay. So visionary, I know that it's not started. You can put it in progress, ongoing, done, and this tracks the progress of it. The next is the type of service. If you want to go in and dedicate yourself to mastering day, mixing day, a production day, recording day, you can see the projects here that are attached to that. And then date. This helps quite a bit because you get to track your project and plan exactly what's going on and when it's going to be done. For example, no date. Let's say if I want to visions. So it populates it here. And then you can just set the parameters for that. It's going to take a couple days and it gives the start date and the end date. And I know I should be working on that. So when you're sending your due dates over here, you can actually reference when this needs to be done. That's how you set your projects up. And we go over here, we have the task view. So Kanban view, it's a little bit different from Kanban. Priority view, if you have some stuff that you want to make high priority. And the most important thing is the due date here. So the due date is very important because this informs the homepage. So you just take a look at all your projects, all the things that you need to do and start setting some dates here. And keep in mind that in homepage, you can only see what's in the week. The great thing about this too, is that you can share the projects with your clients so they know exactly where the projects add. And you can go ahead and share that with them here and invite them, make sure it's only view only so they can just see what's going on. Another cool thing that I have here is you can have your own process that you can click here and you can have your own process here with your portfolio. And we'll discuss that at the end, but it's always there for your clients to reference. Another thing is clients. So we have clients page. And you can just put your notes here. You have client files, which is easy to access. You can have all your files there for your client. And you can have the client profile. So if you need to reference their website or the main URL they use and their email, and they cannot see this as well. So you can make any notes and they will never be able to see it. You can put like grinds, loves, stick sound, wants to book in for July. 
So every single day you can see exactly where your project's at, your tasks, as you have your day, start clicking those off and completing those. And it's a great way to use this home to focus on what you're doing. And the last thing I want to show you in the music production suite is the databases. So these are the databases here that actually operate the entire thing. The two things that we didn't go over is the music production process and the portfolio. So these are actually locked at the moment. So you can actually go in and you would have to unlock it and change it to your liking. But it pretty much gives the client an overview of your entire process. And there's another one, which is the portfolio. If you want to use this template, you can go ahead and download this and duplicate this. I'm going to give this for free. And that is the music production suite. I'm really glad if you made it to the end of this video here. This is the first time I'm doing this type of content. Would love your feedback on it. And again, if you need help or more explanation on how to implement that Notion template into your own workflow, just message me in the comments there. I'm super glad if you sticked around. Please subscribe if you like this. And until next time.